This documentary is called Buried Alive, The Neuroscience of Hoarding Behavior. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hoarding is a complex psychological disorder that is characterized by persistent difficulty in discarding or parting with possessions, regardless of their actual value. It can lead to a cluttered and chaotic living space that impairs the individual's ability to function in daily life. In this documentary, we will explore the causes, symptoms, and treatments for hoarding disorder. The exact cause of hoarding disorder is not known, but research suggests that there may be a combination of genetic, environmental, and psychological factors. People with a family history of hoarding disorder are more likely to develop the condition themselves. Traumatic experiences such as the loss of a loved one, a natural disaster, or a serious illness can also trigger hoarding behavior. Additionally, some mental health conditions such as Obsessive Compulsive Disorder OCD, Attention Deficit Slash Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, and Depression have been linked to hoarding. Hoarding disorder can affect individuals of any age, gender, or background. It is estimated that 2-5% of the population may struggle with hoarding, and the condition can range from mild to severe. Here are some examples of hoarders. The collector. This type of hoarder has a strong attachment to a specific type of item, such as books, dolls, or coins. They may accumulate large collections of these items, which can take over their living space and impair their ability to function in daily life. The animal hoarder. Animal hoarders often have a strong desire to care for animals and may take in large numbers of pets, even if they are unable to provide adequate care. This can lead to unsanitary living conditions and harm to the animals. The Sentimental Hoarder This type of hoarder struggles to discard items that hold sentimental value, such as old letters, photographs, or childhood toys. They may feel that discarding these items would be a betrayal of their memories and experiences. The Information Hoarder Information hoarders often accumulate large amounts of papers, books, and other materials related to their interests or work. They may have difficulty organizing this information and struggle to discard even outdated or irrelevant materials. The Compulsive Shopper Compulsive shoppers may accumulate large amounts of items, often through impulsive buying or excessive shopping. They may have difficulty controlling their spending and feel a strong urge to acquire more items. It is important to note that hoarding disorder is not limited to these examples, and individuals may exhibit a combination of hoarding behaviors. The severity of hoarding can also vary, from mild clutter to extreme hoarding that poses serious health and safety risks. The primary symptom of hoarding is the accumulation of possessions to the point where they interfere with daily activities, such as cooking, cleaning, or sleeping. Hoarders often feel a sense of attachment or connection to their possessions and fear losing them. They may believe that their possessions have sentimental, aesthetic, or intrinsic value that others cannot appreciate. Other symptoms of hoarding may include Difficulty organizing items. Feeling overwhelmed or embarrassed by the clutter. Avoiding inviting guests or socializing due to the condition of their home. Spending significant amounts of time acquiring new items. Difficulty making decisions about what to keep or discard. Feeling distressed or anxious when attempting to discard possessions. Refusing help from others, such as family or friends. Hoarding can have a significant impact on an individual's physical and mental health, as well as their relationships and financial situation. Some of the effects of hoarding may include 
increased risk of falls, injuries, and fire hazards due to clutter. Risk of eviction, legal action, or fines for violating housing codes. Negative impact on social relationships and ability to connect with others. Increased risk of isolation, depression, and anxiety. Financial strain due to excessive spending on items or difficulty maintaining a job. Treatment for hoarding disorder can be challenging, as hoarders often resist help or feel embarrassed about their condition. However, several approaches have been shown to be effective in treating hoarding disorder. Some of these approaches may include Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT. This type of therapy helps individuals change their thoughts and behaviors related to hoarding. CBT may include exposure therapy, where individuals gradually learn to tolerate the distress associated with discarding possessions. Antidepressants and other medications may be used to treat underlying mental health conditions that contribute to hoarding disorder. Motivational interviewing helps in some cases. This approach aims to increase an individual's motivation to change their hoarding behavior by exploring their values, goals, and reasons for change. Support groups such as Clutterers Anonymous can provide a supportive environment for individuals to share their experiences and receive encouragement from others who have overcome hoarding disorder. Preventing hoarding disorder can be challenging, but there are steps individuals can take to reduce their risk of developing the condition. Some of these steps may include Practicing good organization skills. This can involve regularly cleaning and decluttering one's living space to prevent the accumulation of excess possessions. Avoiding impulse purchases. Before buying a new item, Consider whether it is necessary and whether it will add value to one's life. Seeking treatment for underlying mental health conditions. Treating conditions such as OCD, ADHD, and depression can reduce the risk of developing hoarding disorder. Seeking therapy and medication for these conditions can help individuals manage their symptoms and reduce the likelihood of developing hoarding behaviors. It is also important for family and friends to be aware of the warning signs of hoarding and to offer support and assistance to individuals who may be struggling with the condition. Encouraging open communication and non-judgmental support can help individuals feel more comfortable seeking treatment and making positive changes in their lives. In conclusion, hoarding disorder is a challenging and complex psychological condition that can have significant impacts on an individual's daily life, relationships, and well-being. While the exact cause of hoarding is not fully understood, research suggests that genetic, environmental, and psychological factors may all play a role. Effective treatment for hoarding may involve cognitive behavioral therapy, medication, motivational interviewing, and support groups. Prevention of hoarding may involve practicing good organization skills, avoiding impulse purchases, and seeking treatment for underlying mental health conditions. With proper treatment and support, individuals with hoarding disorder can overcome their struggles and improve their quality of life. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our new videos. Thank you.